Let me introduce you to the newest member of my musical instrument family. This is my new kalimba, otherwise known as a, an mbira or thumb piano. Now I prefer to call it a kalimba because mine is too big to play with the thumbs as it traditionally would be. Now they're usually pretty small. I wanted one that had a lot of notes. This one covers three octaves. And as you can see, I've decorated it up in a traditional burn style. And uh, that's very popular in African traditional art to burn onto wood. That's how I've decorated it. And uh, this kalimba is a little bit unique for a number of reasons. Um, not only because of the range, but also because I've created this whole top section as a percussion section. So not only do you have the traditional notes, but you also have some extra stuff. And also, um, I've left these high ones up here as to be played kind of like drones. What they do is they add a really heavy vibration, which while you're playing can be a lot of fun because you, you bang that vibration key and the whole thing just boom and it sounds like suddenly mega bass going on. And then there's this top one that gives a little shake like a rattle. And you can also slide that down to make it more of a ringer, which is kind of fun. And so it's a little bit longer ringing sound, which I, I really like to have in the, in the music while I'm playing. kind of fun about this too. I designed the beads so that not only would they be playable on these high section, but if you want to, you can drag this whole lower section on top of the bottom row to give it a slightly different sound than what you would get. You just kind of pull that up, lay it on top, and all of a sudden these have a, a little bit more of a tingy uh, ringing sound. As you can probably see, I'm not very well practiced with the kalimba, but the kalimba plays kind of like a piano, except that the order of the keys is very different. Okay, because instead of playing da 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 da, it's more like da 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 da, and so you're going from the middle outward as you climb. So let me demonstrate. And this one is actually tunable because you can take individual notes and press them in just a little bit, give them a little bit of a shove or give them a pull depending on which way you need to go. You push in, it'll go higher, you pull back, it'll go lower. And you can also, if it's just a slight off key that you're, that you're sensing, you can uh, just push it upward just a little bit. Just give it a nudge upward. If it's a little bit flat or a, a little bit sharp, then you can just push it downward a little bit and that will give it the, uh, the tuning that it needs to get it where you want the note to be. If you're interested in this kalimba, it's available on my website, chazhathaway.com slash musical dash instruments. Now, if you are interested, you'll want to get there quick because each of my instruments are made unique to themselves. So once they're purchased, they're gone. And so if you're interested in this instrument, go there and get it right away. Thanks for listening.